I don't know how the hell to take shortcut like that, but whatever. It's obviously some underground basement cellar plan. You know what's funny? Oh no, wait, never mind. I was gonna say that Mumbo is like he doesn't say anything bad to Wumba, but he does. So I was gonna say Wumba was just being a baby and Mumbo is <laughs> mature about it, but no, it's kind of both ways. Big drop hurt lots. Where am I? You dead. Mumbo used powerful shaman magic. You're alive. Didn't need PD earthling magic. Could have used special powers instead. Spaceman ungrateful. Waste Mumbo's time. You should teach a lesson. Sorry, strange friend. My special powers are low and we need your help. Our three children escaped the ship before we crashed in this lagoon. If you could help us find and return them to me safely, I'll bestow the earth with wondrous gifts. Mumbo like gifts. Not tacky alien merchandise. Kids will be hiding from danger until they detect alien signal. Mumbo impressed. But Mumbo had magic better. Well, that takes care of that. There's another spot we need Mumbo for. I'm gonna go take care of it real quick. And then we can get harassed by a stupid ice dragon. Leave me alone. Why does anything? I can never get peace in this game. Like, everyone's just like, you know what we'll do today? Let's lick JC Farr's butt crack. He loves that. So let's all do it together, guys. Because licking hurts you. She's got a black man inside of her. Now this is a certain character that um, was apparently in a game long ago that I didn't even know about. I don't know which way his name is pronounced. I've heard Sabre Man, but I prefer Saber Man. And it works either way, but... Many thanks, young sir. Why, I've been frozen in now since 1984. Mama think crazy old man, but seen pr him before, perhaps. Quite possible. I'm from a golden age where wolves were kings. The name's Saperman. Adventuring is my game. Or at least was. What's Saperman doing in Ice Block? That cursed Saber Wolf chased me all the way here when I was frozen in my tracks by the Ice Dragon. I'm rather cold. Could you see your way to warming me up? No, but I know a bear that might. Now, Saberman, I believe, I don't know what 1984 is referencing, but it could be possible that that was around the time where his game came out. That's my guess, but in other words, I don't honestly know the date. Now, a little thing is, they were actually working on making him another game back in, uh, what's a doodle? They planned on working on making him a game for uh, the GameCube. I don't want to say it was in 2002 was when it was supposed to, you know, be released. But unfortunately, due to Rareware being, you know, sold to Microsoft and all that kind of changed. Which really sucks because it looked like it was a really fun looking game. And, well, hell, I would have loved to see what they could have done. But yeah, they planned on bringing him back, so I'm going to... Go, well, actually, we can just deal with something else. But yeah, that's kind of the story of Saberman with that and Rareware. I assume Banjo Tooie helped revive them, the interest or whatever, so. I don't know, but I think it's pretty cool. They reference their own stuff. I do that too. Like with the music choice I do whenever I fast forward things, I like to pick games that I've already done. If not that, then games that I would like to do. Or just games I just like. Oh crap, I think I'm too big. Well, I'm definitely too big now. 
go and stop getting stuck on walls. I'm tired of you being such a dope. Get out of the way so I can see. Okay, you can make it. Now get bigger. Keep going, Banjo. You got it. There we go. Now there's a certain cheat in this game that actually can help you out with the snowball and also make it a little bit more complicated. I'm not going to say what it is, but when the time comes, I probably will, assuming I remember. Either way, it makes growing easier. And it also can show a pretty funny glitch off if um you're at a certain size when you change back at Wombas. Yeah, we all saw that one coming a mile away, didn't we? Because this game just fucking loathes me. This world hates me. Ban or witchy world hates me. Why do they hate me? I don't know. I never did anything wrong to them. I never insulted them. Never hurt their feelings. Given them nothing but praise. But no. That's just not good enough in their eyes. So they have to be a dildo to me. I'm on it. You can eat me, jam jars. No! Do you mind not being retarded? You gotta make it through here with full health. Come on, we can do it! Yes! Okay, we've made it. And if you stay on over there for too long, what'll happen is you'll melt because of the excessive amount of heat. So... Yeah, let's see what we can dig up. This is an oil drill, so... <laughs> it's pretty cool. It helps us do things. I think we found something. Something shiny and gold. And metal, by the sounds of it. Actually, what are those pieces made of? I think they're made of solid gold. Some sort of metal. I mean, they're strong as all hell. But... Well, it's dirty now. I heard a noise. Oh boy, thanks. I didn't want to get those at all. And I mean at all. Do something. Oops, that was an accident. I actually wanted... You know what? I got a better idea on where I can go. Shut up. Because this guy will definitely kill me. Do something. Pecks quite a lot, doesn't it? I'm really proud of my enormous foot. Football! I figured I might as well grab Mumbo, so that was a nice voice crank. <clears throat> but yeah, I figured I'd grab Mumbo. Oh, it was a great jump! That really was. I wanted you to do that. Because, well, hey, we were by Wumbo, so we had to get rid of it, you know, in the area, so might as well. Besides, so required stuff to do, so let's go without falling! Do something. Alright, that's it. That's all we needed Mumbo for, so let's go put him away now. Mumbo has served his purpose. I think we've been able to stay alive for a bit longer than five minutes, which is finally what I wanted, and it's good. We hit the train station switch, I believe. Didn't we? Yeah, it looks like we did. Alright, just making sure. Top of half fire peaks, please.
I am Ben Jovi. I have a backpack. I'll hit you and twirl it around because I'm fucking Ben Jovi. Yeah. I had to get that in some point, somewhere. I didn't forget that song. Oh no. Let's grab that steaming fish. And that Jinjo who's steaming, but you know, he's cool. He doesn't mind anything at all, he's just busy being purple. It's boiling hot water. Just how you should know. You can not do that. I'll just do it this way then, because I don't feel like wasting my time going back there to do that, so... But whatever. This game has already shown its distaste for me, so... What is that Yeti doing? He's just having himself a run. Is he that bored? I like that jump, too. You know, double jump's cool as hell, but fun to do. There's nothing quite like watching Banjo be flail around like an oaf. Quickly, opening, opening, where is it? I don't see it, it's right here. By the way, this counts as a jiggy for half fire peaks, not a runny industry, so you know. Hail fire, whatever. Now then, let's see about getting that extra honeycomb piece, and then I can go boil myself or whatever. Because that's the only other thing I think I need to do, is just Banjovi. You don't even want to get up there! Thank you! I am not letting you ruin this for me. I mean, my god, you are such a child. Shut it. I don't want to hear your angry dragon problems because they're not my problems. So I don't care. Leave me alone. I like the red snow. Although it looks kind of bright for some reason. Like extra bright. Okay. That works. I looked close to hitting me. Cool. So it puts me over there. Okay. I don't know about you, but I'm getting sick of this ice dragon, so I think we should take it out already. After we do one thing. Firstly, that's a jiggy. But, you know, you kind of can't get through that because it's super thick, awesome ice. It's thick. Hey, young man, I'm Mildred Ice Cube, but I seem to have misplaced my husband, George. There was this terrible blizzard, and he was whisked off into the sky. So? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I want you to go and look for him. Well, um... No. Ah! Tell George his dinner is in the... I'll be sure to do that. I love the fact that you can actually do that. You know what? I changed my mind. We'll wait in just a second because this guy is just so irritating. He's, he finds a reason to yell at me every second he can. <laughs> Welcome to Boggy's house. Where we're watching Jet Force Gemini. He's got a mustache. Hello, Boggy. Take a look at my new widescreen TV. It's got loads of features. I'm sure it has. It has, actually. Yawn. Oh, sorry. Uh, what do you want? A big hot fish would be great. Oh, there you go. What was that? Wow, the fish must have swallowed a jiggy. Oh, if it's not edible, I don't want it. Fair enough, Boggy. I'll add it to our collection. Be my guest, I got stuff to watch. Boggy has become lazy, fat, and uncaring over the last two years. Cheers for the burger back at the fair. Jumping on mom and dad Pop's bed is almost as much fun as the fair. Look, the igloo. Thanks for the fries, Mr. Bear. 
Why can Kazooie never gets any recognition? It's always Banjo. It's always Mr. Bear. Oh, look, you can see Boggy Sled. I think it would have been cool if, he, like, maybe you could motivate Boggy to go sledding again or something. But, eh, can't always win, so who cares. I felt like showing that off, at least. I know it didn't really serve me much purpose, but who cares. Good one. Now watch as I get hit by the ice dragon in about a minute. There we go. Somewhere along the lines I hit him. There we go. Good. He wanted warming up? I gave it to him. His bag's not even open. That's much better. Glad to help an old hero. Being frozen for so long has tired me. I need a cup of tea and 40 winks. Could you help me out on one more time? Of course. Sounds like a job for you, Banjovi. Can you carry me back to my tent? It's over on the fiery side of the mountain. If it hasn't burnt down by now. 40 Winks is another game, actually. It was available for the PlayStation. I don't know if Rare had anything to do with it. I kind of doubt it, because, you know, that was PlayStation and Rare's Nintendo. But that was um, a dream game. And considering Banjo, because it was once called Project Dream, I guess maybe that slightly makes sense. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, 40 Winks was a game where you'd fight in dreams and stuff like that. That's all I know. I've seen a commercial for it, but, yeah. So, let's grab this asshole. And be about our business inside of suicide. Bam! Because death is just the only thing I can seem to do right. This tent isn't far at all. After this, I think taking out the fire ice dragon is really the only other thing. Well, not the only other thing, but I think it's one of the last things. Because afterwards, I know one other small thing we need to do. Well, at least I got a ticky time, friend. My tent! My equipment! It's just as I left it all those years ago. Probably worthless, anyway. My treasure's still here, too! You may have to kind, sir. It's a fine golden jigsaw piece. No, she used to me. I'm gonna hang up my boots. And that's how you uh, earlier you called him an old hero, so. Bears and their own adventures. Ha! I like that. A man's got style. Um, yeah, it was by one. I don't know, I'm thinking. 